Citizen Fur is about a man named Thomas Novacek, who has adapted a book by Leopold von Sacher Masik called Venus in Furs, which is from 1870, and is actually the book that started the name masochism, Masoch masochism. And when the curtain rises, he's on the phone with his fiancée, being incredibly frustrated about not being able to find uh, an actress to play the part of the the dominatrix, well, an aristocratic woman who fills that role. And then Vonda comes in, and she seems like she's going to be just like the rest of them, but then it turns out that maybe she's a little bit different in an exciting way. And so what happens in the play within the play begins to happen to the modern characters, the writer and the actress. And that dynamic, that pull between the two stories is very interesting. And I think the thing that I didn't expect that really struck me was it's just really thrilling and that there's mystery in it and that mystery really keeps you hanging on. And the thing that we've really realized is that it's not only about two couples, the couple in the play within the play and the actor and director, but it's also the two actors, Amanda and Rufus, that we have another couple in the room that are like trying to figure each other out too. I think also in, in any situation where you're working with people you've never worked with before, there's the challenge of simply diving in. You have to trust people. It's like a, a leap into the dark and you have to open yourself up and be willing to assume a kind of intimacy that in other areas of life might take months and months to get to it. Luckily Rufus is fantastic and he's a pleasure to work with, as is Joni, and um, we all got along right away. In the theater you just have to. You have to start from day one and say, okay, we're doing this, we're not going to doubt, we're going to trust. It has been an intimate rehearsal process, that's for sure. And since the play is funny, it's been funny. And since the play is sexy, it's been sexy. And you're rehearsing in a rehearsal room, and the play takes place in a rehearsal room. So we're getting really actually the authentic experience. I and mean, I really wanted to share that with the audience. I really wanted to bring the audience into the experience of what it's like to really start hearing and feeling and seeing another world around you where it's actually the same objects that you had before. In talking about feminism and masochism and masculinity, we have discovered a lot of really interesting things about what it means to be submissive and what it means to be in control and how those things are not necessarily as clear-cut as you think they might be. And sometimes the person who is most submissive is the one who is the strongest and biggest presence in the room and vice versa. Some people are going to be interested in the gender roles and the gender role reversals. Some people will be interested in the, the kink of, of masochism and sadomasochism. It's a kind of window into how actors and writers work and how auditions take place and how emotional and sexually charged they can be. And then there's the question of who wins. And I think that is actually up for grabs and that I think it's going to be different to different people who wins the play. If anybody wins the play, but we like to think somebody does or maybe both of them do. I'm not sure. They'll have to tell me.